Hey everyone, Andrew at Microphonic Designs here. Uh, as I was working on this school today, I literally just got a question on one of my YouTube videos, one of the other videos, I think it was the Timberview video, <clears throat> where someone was basically asking, you know, for a, um, a full range cabinet, a main and a sub, how do we use only two outputs if it's actually four outputs, right? Because we have two for our full range amp and two from our sub amp. Uh, let me show you real quick, uh, and um, <clears throat> I think this is a really good question, and it could use some clarification. So let me get the flashlight figured out here. Here we go. So, yeah, so you'll see here, we've got two outputs for our mains, two outputs for our subs, and each of these is going to have two little copper wires, a plus and a minus is, is usually how they're labeled. And basically what we do, either with a quick connect panel or um, a, uh, uh, you know, sometimes they're built into the sound cart here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. So you see there where the cables go to the back of that connector, we're using that connector to essentially combine the copper wire pairs from each of these cables into a single cable. So you can kind of think of this like putting two pairs of sticks in the same stick bag. You know what I mean? So we're taking the one plus, one minus copper wires, that's how we label them, from each of, back out, from each of these. And again, we're just putting them into the same wire. And what that looks like <clears throat> on the speak on side is like this. So you see how this speak on cable has four wires. We've got the orange, yellow, white, and black. These are usually labeled one plus, one minus, and then you can see here, uh, two plus, two minus, if the camera will, will focus. Hang on. Sorry, y'all know me, raw footage here. Yes, yeah, so you see that uh, two plus, two minus on the connector, and then the one plus, one minus on the other side. And so basically what we're doing is we're using the cart or the panel to combine those copper wires. Again, we're not mixing the signal, we're just putting the copper wires into the same housing like this. And another way you can check is by looking on the inside. You can see four little uh, connectors or touch points inside there. And then what we do from there at the speaker stack is a lot of the times for some of these older McCormick's systems, for example, they will have modified the subwoofer to keep the two copper wires that have the subwoofer signal and keep it on the inside of the sub and then they will pass over the two copper wires that have the signal for the full range. And they'll modify the back of this panel to pass the full range signal over. And then we have a short speak on cable that goes uh, from here up to the top speaker with the full range signal. Uh, nowadays, there's also a product that you can actually find on microphonicdesigns.com on my website. It's made by Whirlwind. It's the SBNL uh, for speaker box, uh, nacho, lettuce, <laughs> SBNL-14442. It's the 14442. And this metal box essentially does this splitter process, but without having to mod modify the sub, which is great for retaining resale value on the speakers. Uh, and it also prevents us from having to go in and uh, do adjustments in the back of the actual speaker cabinet. It's just this metal box that would sit up here. We would plug the long uh, speak on cable into it and then that would split the signal uh, appropriately. So yeah, I thought that was a really good question and very pertinent to the setup that I'm doing and working on today. And yes, I will do a video walkthrough of this setup once I'm done much, much later today. Um, but that's how it's done. So uh, that person was correct that yes, we have four outputs, but using a combiner panel, or like I said, if it's built into your cart, that is how you do it. I appreciate the question. Hope y'all thought this was uh, helpful or found it helpful. I'll see you soon in the next one.